here we are, Terry again, Woodridge Tree Consulting Arborist. Nice rainy day in February, and we're working out this building lot here. We're doing tree management for construction. And what we've done is, is firstly, we've taken their plans in, their building plans, and we've worked out what trees are gonna keep and what ones are not. We've worked out what are the impacts of this new house that's gonna go into this lot gonna be to all the trees. Now one of the issues that comes up a lot of times is that trees have to come out for construction. Now one of the main the main factors we use to make those decisions is this concept we call the critical root zone. It's to say that the tree, it's more than just the stem and branches and leaves, it's also the roots. And now as you probably know, we can't see the roots, but the roots are there. And so we use this critical root zone concept to say, which roots does the tree absolutely need to sustain its stability and vitality to sustain itself? And which roots can be pruned away to make way for the new house? Now, unfortunately, what happens sometimes is that, as you can see on this lot, we've got an enormous Douglas fir tree. And now that tree, a big old beautiful tree, and it's in the neighbor's property of all things. And the way it works out is, the bigger the tree is the bigger the critical root zone. And what we've got here is a case where the new house that's going to go in is going to be inside the critical root zone of the neighbor's tree. And so that can be a big challenge to overcome. You can imagine a lot of neighbors don't like it when you're coming in and building a new house and taking out their big beautiful fir tree. So that's one of the major challenges that we have to overcome in building or managing trees in construction.